Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As usual, it's your girl Liv Kenya. So guys, this time I intend to take you around Likoni. Likoni the estate and Likoni as a whole. We have often crossed the ferry and gone to Diani through Likoni but we hardly travel around Likoni. So guys, this is the chance. So we have just crossed that ferry. You can see of the ferry over there. That is Mombasa, that entire place. Even Mamangina waterfront is over there. I hope we'll get to show you more of this place and I hope you guys will enjoy. So join us. So guys, we are new in this place. We've never been to this place, but we'll just drive around and show you guys what we see. We don't know where we are going, but we're just headed exploring, exploring. After that watch tower, apparently there's a village in here with Swahili houses and those other houses. Let me show you guys. Guys, what is the name of this thing? Like seriously, it is used to direct ships, but I don't know its name. So if you know the name, comment below here. I'm told this place all the way from ferry until here, it's called Sentikumi. It goes along the beach until the other side. The nice apartments here. Now, our first beach resort, Nashville. But with good investment, it can be another Diani or it can also be another Nyali. This looks like a very interesting place. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like a place to chill and just for kids to play around. So guys, this is still along Shelly Beach. You can see they have a lot of vibandas, just small, small stalls over there where people can have like fast foods, the Swahili kind of foods. And here it's like a play park for kids. People have come to just enjoy the breeze.
coming up probably in, in one year's time this icon will look different you can see so many buildings being constructed So guys, while driving around, I came across this. This was formerly a quarry. Look at this feature that it has made here. It looks like some ruins or something and people have made this place residential. So let's check it out. Now, I don't understand how safe this place is because while trying to come down, the place looks a bit not so like steady i can't say steady but it's not so safe to walk around there if you are you, your legs are not so firm you can fall down but it makes some very nice i don't know if it is a, architectural or whatever because this is man-made features look at this this is a quarry these miners have decided to cut the stones that these stones that they're usually used for construction actually that they're, they're such these are the stones that come out of this place such they're used for construction but these people who mine have decided to cut it to the edge of the houses just where the house begins or i don't know ends despite everything i think this is their way of life and i totally respect it otherwise it looks like a tourism attraction site that foundation had been cut just to the other day and this is as far as this place goes so guys this place goes to the farthest end and there are people who actually live here let's go back and keep driving Likoni has shown me something new something I never thought I'd ever see that whole village is just on another level apparently it was some farm which was leased and for, for I think a, a, a hundred years or something, but once the lease was over, now people have decided to grab a piece for themselves. And that is how Mombasa things happen, especially the, as, far as, as far as land is concerned. And apparent, the other thing is the ground absorbs all that water. That is why people are so confident and they have constructed their houses down there. It can never get flooded. That is what I've been told by a local. And the place is just as safe as it goes. So anyways, that was so adventurous for Likoni. For my Likoni fans, please. My last word is clean the beach. <laughs> clean the beach. Bye.